everyone, Andy here. I'm a vintage home decor reseller and today I have a thrift with me haul video for you. So first I'm gonna take you shopping with me. I visited two antique malls with some of my reselling friends and then I found actually a fair amount of stuff at my local thrift stores. So let's get shopping. Welcome to another thrift with me video. Today I'm taking you to two antique malls. I'm going shopping with some of my reselling friends. So it's always a really good time. I can't wait to see what we find. So the first thing that was spotted, of course, in the window is this giant hammered brass vase. It's so beautiful. It's 45, so still some margin. Big vases like this do well for me, but it would be a beast to ship. So this is the first thing I'm getting. He's only $6 and isn't he so cute? I can't wait to bring it home. So I just picked up this beautiful Italian candelabra. I love Italian metalwork. It's so stunning and this is only 25 bucks which is a great deal so can't wait to bring this home so we're yeah so they're nine dollars a piece we're trying to decide emily wants to know if she should get them i think they're really pretty i don't know like if they were framed to be better but they are really good versions of paint by numbers yeah so the set is really really pretty i love the green i've never seen the brass with the green and the prices are really good so i'll have to think about this set because it's just i think it'd be really eye-catching on a shelf like this shelf that it's actually on. So I see some art I like. This one, I think it's like 58. And then over there, that floral looks really, really good. Kind of moody and raised. How much is it? 90. And the frame is actually pretty good too. Ooh, I haven't picked up so many florals, you guys. I may have to like take a hiatus. My goodness, you guys. A wicker animal. What I do. Oh, look at the feet. <gasps> So this is one I don't have. I mean, I have an owl, but I do not have an owl holding a cute little basket and it's eight bucks, so it's coming home. So this piece of pottery is very tempting for me. It's from Norway. I just like the glazing on it. It's 16. I'm in my no pottery phase, so I'm gonna pass, but it's really stunning. So we're at the next stop. Spotted this. I mean, I'm not a glass girly. You guys know this, but I can't get over these cute painted flowers. I think it's like, let's see. Yeah, $12.50. I'm here to get it. It's stunning. Now this is a very good lion. He's 25, so not super cheap, but there's still definitely margin in it. I don't know. He may have to come home, even if just for me. So I really love this cruel, which always sell well. I don't love the frame on this one though. It's plastic, so it's 18. I think I'll pass. I did find a very cute mushroom painted plaque. So this is, I think it said it was 10. Yeah, 10. So I may have to get it. I mean, you know, it's mushrooms and that little mouse is so cute. Some more mushrooms, the piggy bank. It is busted up. Otherwise I think I'd have to get it because the colors are so sweet in a kid's room. So yeah, this mushroom thing. And then the person who was working at the front counter pointed out this mushroom canister. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of mushrooms today. So we're back in my studio and we're gonna kick things off with the items that I got at the antique malls. So the first thing that caught my eye was this absolutely adorable dog needlepoint. I mean, look at that face. I just could not say no to the face and the yellow and the orange. It's just such a happy, sunny piece. And I think it was like $6, which just seemed bananas to me. So I had to grab it. So the other thing I really love about this piece is it was mounted to what is basically like a canvas frame. And I don't know why it never dawned on me before, but every time I'm out, I will see like a needlepoint or a piece of embroidery that's not framed, that's kind of loose. Like the person who finished it didn't end up doing anything with it. It was not made into a pillow. And so I've always been like, oh, what am I gonna do with that? I gotta find a frame. I should just do this, like mount it to a, a wood frame like this, act as if it's like a canvas on the wall and then it's perfect and ready to hang. I don't know why it never dawned on me, but now that I know to do this, I'm gonna definitely be picking up those pieces when I find them. So the next item that caught my eye was this absolutely stunning Italian metal candelabra. Italian metal stuff like this 
has always done well for me. There's always a buyer for it. It's always typically very ornate, usually has patina. And this one I just thought was absolutely stunning. Now I don't think it has like the little tag on it, but that doesn't matter. A lot of times the there will be a little tag that says Italy that's like attached to it. But this is definitely Italian you know, metal work. I have, you know, sold this many times so I, I can spot it without the little tag. But I think this is stunning. This is going to kill me to sell because it I have not seen one like this out and about and I think it was like 25 bucks. This is something I really badly want to keep but I'm just not decorating this ornately. I'm not sure if I ever will so I can't hoard everything so this will probably be for sale but oh it's going to kill me because it's just so stunning. And speaking of like brass items I also picked up this adorable pitcher with like the sunflowers on it and the green like almost like enamel coating on it. I have never seen a green brass pitcher like this before. I'm sure it's probably made in uh, India. Most of this stuff was, uh, but it was only $7. I thought it was a really good deal. I just, it's just so cute. Like brass pitchers have always done well for me. It'll be interesting to see if this green one will do well. I'm doing some in-person things coming up. So pieces like this, I feel like do really well in those environments because it's like that one off, like, Ooh, I love it. Splurge type of thing versus maybe I'm, uh, you know, selling on Etsy. I don't know how well it will do, but I just thought for the price, I thought it was so cute. Now there were other versions of this in the set. I just thought this one was the cutest. So I just kind of gravitated towards this one. I guess if this sells, I may go back for the other pieces because they were really reasonable too. But yeah, when I saw this, I just couldn't say no to it. So the next thing I got at the antique mall is for me. And you guys, if you will follow me here, you guys know why this is for me. It's because I have a very large wicker animal collection. Now this wicker is a lot lighter, more blonde than my other wicker animals. They tend to be a little, little bit more mid-tone, but I mean, how can you say no to the face and the teeny feet like I show when I'm showing you the thrifting footage? I mean, it's just the cutest little thing oh, on the planet. So this will be for me, sorry. But yeah, I just was really excited. I'm always excited to find a wicker animal when I'm out shopping. So the final piece that I got at the antique mall so was this adorable painted mushroom plaque. I thought it was too cute, I nearly exploded. I mean, I love anything mushroom, you guys know that. I mean, look at that little mouse's face. I mean, that's just incredible. Now this I think was like 10 bucks, so definitely more than I'd like to pay. I mean, I would ideally, want to pay like a few bucks for this at the thrift store, but you know, it's fine. I'm not finding this at the thrift store. So I figured I probably should pick it up. It's so cute. Now there's not a ton of margin in this. This I'm definitely not going to be listing online. This is going to be something that I'm going to sell at the market coming up because for 10 bucks, I feel like I can't really charge more than like 18 on it. So I'm not making a, a lot, but I feel like it's just one of those pieces that's going to make people happy. And sometimes you just buy stuff and sell stuff that you know that's going to make people happy, even if you don't make a ton of money on it. And then and this is one of those pieces. Or I can offer it to my husband because it is really cute and it has a mushroom. And you guys know, if you watch my channel, my husband grows mushrooms as a hobby. So anyway, this is adorable and it will be for sale, but in person. So the next items I actually got at the thrift stores and you guys, I have had such crappy luck at thrift stores lately. So I am just grateful that I actually found some stuff recently and I actually have a pretty decent haul to show you. So the first thing I picked up was this beautiful cloisonne and stone flower bonsai tree arrangement. And I have never found this at the thrift store ever. Like, Ever. Close and nice stuff I find on occasion, but I've never found one of these that has the really beautiful flowers made out of stone. And the fact that it's in perfect shape without any breakage is a miracle. And then you can see the beautiful cloisonne vase. So it was only, it was eight bucks and then I had a coupon. So 20% um, off coupon. I always have a coupon at Value Village. And I just, I couldn't say no to them. I've always been attracted to these, but they've always been like wildly expensive. So uh, this is something I'm not, I'm not really sure in terms of like the market. I mean, I know that people love cloisonne pieces. I don't know how much they're excited about this particular setup of cloisonne with the combined like um, stone flowers. So I gotta check that out. Otherwise, I mean, if I have to keep it, I'm not gonna be too sad about it because it is beautiful and I love cloisonne on my own. But yeah, I just, just couldn't pass it up, especially this little flower in the middle right here. <laughs> just that little flower was just so sweet. I don't know. I just fell in love with this. So anyways, I had to grab it and this may be available. So the next thing I picked up was this adorable folk art piece. I just think this wreath is incredible. It's like has the hook ready to hang on the wall. Now, if you guys think this looks familiar, you are right because I actually found one of these 
at this big garage sale like shopping like event that we go to twice a year locally it's amazing highly recommend it because the prices are really good and i actually found a wreath similar to this there and i fell in love with it and actually hangs on my studio door and so i couldn't believe it when i found another one and this was 3.99 and i just thought that was crazy good considering i definitely paid up for the one at that event that I went to. So anyways, this will be available on my Etsy shop or I'll take it to the event that I'm doing. I just, I guess we'll just see if it sells before then, then it won't be at that event. But I thought this was stunning and this will be available. So I actually found some brass at the thrift store and I have not found brass at the thrift store like this in a long time. Now I know these are not exciting for you guys, brass candlesticks, but you guys know I make sets and usually I can make sets really quickly, but I have been in a lull when it comes to brass candlesticks. So I'm actually going to one of my reselling friends studio spaces to shop their candlesticks because I'm desperate for them so I can make my set. So I was really excited to find this pair. And then the other candlesticks that I got, oh, sorry, that was loud. The other candlesticks that I got that are so cute um, candle holders were these little tiny elephant ones. I thought they were just the cutest. Now they were definitely marked different prices, $2.99 and $6.99, but Goodwill will honor the lesser price, at least the store that I was shopping at. So that was good. You just can't, you know, return the one when they adjust the prices. I think it was a little bit bit of a stinker move. But anyways, I thought these were adorable and these will be for sale in my Etsy shop. So the final thing that I picked up that was brass was this adorable wine cellar plaque. I thought it was very cute. There's a lot of wine drinkers out there, people. So I know that the wine aficionados will appreciate this wine decor. Um, I just thought it was really cute. I like that it was mounted to the board. It was only, you know, two bucks with a coupon. So I had to grab it. I thought it was very cute and this will be for sale. So a couple more metal things that I picked up um, was this beautiful copper tray. It was $3.99. I thought it was stunning. I love the scalloped edges and I like the etched details. You guys know I'm starting to pick up a few copper pieces because copper, you know, is coming back in. And then also the silver tone stuff is coming back in. So I got this was only $1.99 and pre-shined up and I just I don't know I just thought it was really pretty I know it will appeal to all the people that love you know silver toned pieces like this I could not believe this was $1.99 apparently the thrift store lost their mind and priced something cheaply because typically this would be like $12.99 at least at my value village they tend to overprice all the time so anytime something's like two bucks I'm like who did this Keep them back their pricing, please. So anyways, I picked these up and these will probably, I don't know if I'm gonna be listing them or not. I gotta find out the market value for these like on Etsy, uh, but I kind of bought them with the intention of selling them in person at the market that I'm gonna do in April, just because pieces like this are kind of like nice little like inexpensive things that people can take home with them. Um, not a ton of margin necessarily, but you know, helps get you know people in your booth and excited about their purchase. So that's what I did when I bought these. I had that in mind, but I may list them on Etsy. I just gotta do a little bit more research. Now, the next thing I got was this really pretty piece of art. And I really just fell in love with this wood frame. And I just like the floor, the blue floral subject matter. It was $12.99. Um, it definitely needs a little shoring up because the uh, glass keeps trying to pop out of it. And it's been taped with just, you know, classic tape on the outside, which is not helping it at all. Uh, but I feel like I can shore that up quite easily. This is another piece that I kind of um, envision bringing to that market because the market definitely skews a little bit more like cottage core. And so this is like definitely at home with that aesthetic. Um, and so, and you know, then I don't have to do a ton of like repairs and worry about it in shipping. So I don't know if this is going to be available, but I thought it was really, really pretty. So I had to get it. So the final item I have to show you is actually a clothing piece. And I was super excited to find this because it's actually sold at a store in the UK that I have gone to many a times. And it's this very cool quilted denim coat. And it has this really huge belt um, that goes around it. It kind of reminds you of like having a denim um, as they call it dressing gown or as we call it a bathrobe. So it looks like a big like denim bathrobe and it's actually my size. So I'm kind of tempted to keep it, especially since it's huge pockets. And because it's like quilted it's, and like lined, it's very cozy, but the brand is Per Una and it's sold at Marks and Spencer's in the UK, which I have gone to so many, so many times. So it was really fun to find something from the UK. It was like, oh, reminds me of my family. Um, so yeah, it was, I think originally, so it was 10.49, so 10 bucks, 10.50, 
20% off. And I think it, the retail tag on it was actually for like 150 pounds, which seems crazy expensive for that store, but maybe that's how much clothes are there. But it is really nicely made. So if I don't keep it for myself, because it may be too overwhelming on my frame, then I may actually bring it to that market. I'm gonna bring a few, like maybe clothing pieces or like linens or blankets and stuff to kind of fill up the space to have a few more interesting items. So this is something there that I feel like could maybe work in that like type of booth setting um, as like a fun like ombre piece because this definitely has like that cottage core vibe to it. So I don't know, I gotta see. And maybe for me though, because it's so cute. Uh, but yeah, I was really excited to find it. And oh, this was actually 30, now I'm remembering it was 30% off because Valley Village was having their 30% off wintry things like this. So that was very exciting. So it was 10.50 with 30% off. So very cheap for something that was new with tags. So that's all I have to show you today. I'm glad I had like a little bit bigger haul than I have lately because I'm feeling better having had a sinus infection. I'm out more, which is great, which is amazing. And I have some very big things coming up. So I'm gonna be selling at that market like I keep saying in April. Hopefully you can come and say hi and shop. And then I may be actually getting my own booth space here soon. Ooh, I can't tell you much about it, but I actually may have a designated space soon, which would be my first one ever because I usually keep my selling business very part-time, very like tight and contained. So that event and the booth are gonna be happening around the same time, which means I'm gonna have to source. My sourcing is gonna need to grow. Um, and so I need to start hitting up the stores like more than I do. And I know you probably are thinking, Andy, how could you possibly thrift more than you do? But you'd be surprised. I actually don't thrift as much compared to my other reselling friends that are doing this more full time. So I got to ramp up my game to kind of bulk up for these like selling opportunities that are coming, but I'm very excited. That's all I have to share with you today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what items were your favorite. And if you're looking for more thrifting and decorating content between my haul videos, make sure you check me out on Instagram and TikTok. Thanks again for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next thrifting and decorating video. Take care.